Hello, good afternoon YouTubers, and hello all my subscribers. I am going to be doing a lot more videos, okay, and I don't mean to bother anybody, but I am really into this, and I'd really like to have more subscribers, so please subscribe. If you're watching me for the first time, you're going to see that I am very opinionated, and this is another Mo's Opinion Time. Now, today is July the 10th, 2016, and yesterday I put out a video called Artificial Intelligence and Robots. Now, today I was listening to CNN with um, Jake Tapper on there, and he was talking to the chief of police there in Dallas, and they were talking about the man that they pinned, okay, the man that shot five police officers. Now, that's what they say. They say he shot five police officers. But here's, here, here's the conundrum right here. Many of the articles that I have seen on this incident in Dallas, they talk about more than one shooter, okay? They talk about the possibility of there being at least three shooters, and multiple witnesses have said that there were shots being fired from different directions. So, also, one officer said there were fires coming from up there on top of a building. And this guy was supposedly down, okay, closer to the ground when they got him. Or I believe that's how it played out. Now, there's so many different reports, and it's hard to you know, figure out all of them until it gets right down to it and they start explaining what goes on. But right now, at this point, they've got one guy, and guess what? That guy's dead, okay? No more testimony from him is coming. He's done. And why is he dead? It wasn't, he wasn't shot by a police officer. He wasn't shot by a security person. He was killed by a robot. Now, <clears throat> we're talking about a robot that was armed with one pound of C4 explosive, okay? That's a major damn explosive, okay? We're talking about a powerful little bomb on a robot, rolled in there, and blew that guy up. He's done. Okay, we're not going to get any more testimony there. No answers coming because he is through. So now they're going through all of his personal effects, his home. They're looking in his journal and all this and things that he was writing. Okay, well this is where it comes down to. How can justice be accurately served Okay, if we don't get the whole story. Okay, the story we're getting is what the police department is telling us. The story we're getting is what the news is telling us. Okay, there's nothing coming from that guy. Remember now, he's done. There's no more. So this is also where something else important comes in. The Article 14, okay, if, you, if you've ever read the Bill of Rights and the um, Declaration of Independence and all that, if you have read the Constitutional Amendments and Articles, there is an Article 14. It has to do with the due process of law. It talks about your rights, you know, to be tried by a trial, jury of your peers, um, and to defend yourself against alleged accusations that you committed this crime. Okay, so... This guy who's blown up by a robot, okay, his Article 14 rights is through. Okay, and I, I, I totally get it, okay, I understand. There are lots and lots of people, I myself being one, okay, I'm very angry about the fact that he shot five police officers. I, I am very angry about it. And I personally... I think he got what he deserved, okay? 
If he shot those five police officers, him, he did it, he got what he deserved. If he would have went to court, you know, I would have said, okay, in Dallas, Texas, they still have the death penalty, and I am sure he probably would have got the death penalty. Okay. But what this robot did was he just took out all that. He took out all of that in between. Okay, there's no court trial going to happen. There's no jury. There's not going to be any questioning. There's not going to be any more evidence from him. Because he's not going to tell anybody anything now. He's through. So how does this help the investigation? How does this help find those other people? Okay, was it just one guy doing all the shooting? We don't know yet. And I'm wondering when we do find out what is going to happen if they get the other two. Okay. They sent a robot with a bomb and killed that man. Took him out. Okay, now let's think about this. The government has already did things that allows them to militarize our police departments. Okay, in the event of major chaos in a city, they've got it set up to where they send in SWAT teams, armored vehicles, okay? Now, I'm sure in some major cities they have their own armored vehicles, okay? But most armored vehicles with green camouflage on it, I thought that was mostly armed forces vehicles. Now, I could be wrong. Please send me a comment if you know something different. But with all of the military activity going on in the United States and people seeing military vehicles everywhere moving through the United States... And them setting up exercises and drills everywhere. Is it possible that they are really getting ready to militarize our police forces? If they do that, then that means you better not be out there if something's going down. You better not be. Because you know what? An armed soldier is told to take out the enemy okay and they don't stand there and take the time to question you or ask you what are you doing here no they are trained to open fire a u.s army soldier they're trained for that that's what they're trained for and they don't waste time picking out well is this one the bad one or is that one the bad one you better not be associated with the bad one because if you are, you could easily be shot without question. Simply for being there. So I'm beginning to wonder if um, any protest at all is going to be allowed because anything that sets off a riot where, where the police feel like they can't handle it anymore and they call in backup, that backup could very well be military. And that is almost equivalent to martial law. It's very, very close. Okay, they're walking a very thin line. People, you need to watch what you're doing. Okay, I understand that you want to stand up for your rights and there are other ways to do that. Okay, there are other ways to do that. Getting out in the middle of the street, block, blocking traffic, throwing things at police officers, breaking bottles on police cars. That is not the way. Because if you're doing that and they call in a SWAT team that is militarized, anyone that even looks like they're throwing something or they look like they have a weapon, guess what? You're not going to last very long against those military people. 
that militarized force will take you down. So please, think about what you're doing. Think about it. I appreciate you watching me today. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And please hit that subscribe button and share it with everyone. I'm worried about the robots in our police force. Is there going to be more? Tell me what you think. This is Mo's opinion. Have a great afternoon. Bye.